What are you going to do with us? I didn't want to hurt anyone. It was never part of the plan, you've got to believe me. Is it now? Why did you have to start playing detectives? Chris would have been free by tomorrow. Where is he? We've been getting on so well. I was looking forward to freeing Chris. It's going to be like a gift to you, make you happy again. I want to see him. Before you knew it was me that took Chris, did you like me? What? Did you feel we could have become close? You need help. Answer me. Zoe. time I thought you were very supportive. Good. It's all too late now, isn't it? Because of you. It's all your fault, Zoe. You've ruined everything for us, Chris. For all of us. you do to deserve this? Nothing. Yeah? I'd hate to see you after you'd really crossed somebody. Uh, been picked on ever since I got in here. By who? Oh, <laughs> don't look that daft. Well, you don't look that clever. No revenge is scared in my life. Well, it's over now. Did you manage to get in touch with my wife? Left a message with your mother-in-law. We should go. It's the middle of the night. Yeah, well, I've got to get to work early. Come back to bed. No, I, I really don't want to stay here. What's the matter with you? You going off me or something? No. We sleep together and I suddenly lose my novelty value, is that it? No, last night was great. That sounded almost convincing. Look, I care a lot about you. Now just drop it and get your clothes on, I'll drive you back. Look, I know it's your day off, but I'm desperate. Well, there's an Arctic bound for Glasgow, packed and ready to go, and no flaming driver. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks a lot, pal. Have you seen Zoe? No. She didn't come home last night. Well, maybe she scored. This isn't a joke. I'm worried about her. Look, much as it's always a pleasure, I've got problems of my own. Terry's gone AWOL. Liam never turned up, and I'm a driver down. So we went looking for Liam. All right, I'll drop you here. Why? Because if we drive up to the village together, then it's going to raise suspicions, isn't it? Okay, see you later. No, don't. Why is he with you? I feel guilty about last night. <laughs> Scott, with a conscience, I don't make me laugh. I feel really bad about Roy. Well, it never bothered you before. He wasn't in prison before. Doing time for you. <laughs> what are we to repay him, eh? I don't want to talk about it. No, I'll bet you don't. You got what you wanted last night. So why are you laying this guilt trip on me? You stupid girl. I could have you for withholding evidence. Cool it, will you? The Tates are now in huge danger thanks to her silence. Well, maybe you should be out there trying to find them. I've got men on their way to Mr. Hammond's house right now. I'm here trying to catch up on evidence that you should have given me days ago. 
So he made me promise not to mention the ransom note. Not till she'd check Liam out. Oh, and Miss Tate's an expert on how to resolve kidnap situations, is she? She's my employer. What was I supposed to do? Stay within the law. You could have phoned me last night when she didn't come home. I stayed up really late waiting for her to come back. But eventually I was that exhausted, I fell asleep. Brilliant! Do you think Terry might be involved? What? My security guard. Well, the thing is, he never turned up for work today, either. Right. Miss Nash, you are going to tell me everything you know. And if anything has happened to the Tates, I just hope you can live with yourself. Thanks. Is he in? Yeah. Morning, Paddy. Jack. Can we have a word in private? I was just off out on my rounds then. Uh, is it about the bill? Yeah. I uh, got the final notice this morning. The thing is, uh, I want to ask a favour. Jack, it's already two months overdue. Look, things aren't easy at the moment. I'd really appreciate a few more weeks, Grace. I've got a business to run and all, you know. You'll never get your bill paid if I go under. All right, let's not get heated. You don't know how hard it is, coming here begging favours, especially with the history Zoe and I have got. I wouldn't ask if I wasn't desperate. Yeah, all right. Let's just keep this between me and you, then, eh? Oh, that suits me fine. Thanks. Where the heck have you been? I, am. Um... I stayed in Hutton last night. Well, I wish you'd have told me. I got a phone call in the night. Roy's in hospital. What's happened? He's only been beaten up. Roy? Well, how is he? Crack ribs. A bit shaken up by all accounts. Um, I've got to go and see him. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, Monday will cover. Yeah, no problem. I'll have a word with Emily. See if you look after the shop and I'll get Scott to give us a lift. Um, listen, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to have to go. But I, I hope everything's all right and give Roy my best. Sure. OK. Well, how do you think? I'm worried sick. And still feeling a bit guilty? No. Kelly, everyone knows Roy's banged up because of you. Yeah, and it was his choice. Never asked him to take the blame. Where's Emily? Uh, in the stockroom. Mama, I was off from coffee and I've only got decaf. What's the matter? I'll tell you in a minute. What's the matter? Mum's walked through with a face like World War III's broken out. Roy got beaten up in prison last night. Oh. And while we were sleeping together. Yeah, I feel great about that too. How bad is he? Oh, cracked ribs and bruising. <sighs> about bad enough as it was, but now I feel like an absolute run. Oh, that's right, Scott. You think about yourself. Kelly, this has got to stop. What are you talking about? Right, that's Emily sorted. Scott, you can drive. I'd rather not. Your brother-in-law is lying in a hospital bed. I think he needs your support. Yeah, well, you take the keys. I don't fancy it. Oh, I get it. You've got a business meeting. You don't want to cancel. Well, I think it's about time you got your priorities right, my lad. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, Scott can see Roy another day. If he's in shock, he won't want to muggle us there. Might have a point. Give him my best, eh? I'm sorry, selfish little toe rag. What do we know? Not a lot so far. I've rung the house, no reply. No sign of activities inside. I've opened to the neighbours? Yeah, no one's been seen going in or out. Right. Let's see if I can raise them. Liam Hammond? This is Detective Inspector Spaulding. You've got nothing to fear, we just want to talk to you. Let's go in. Sure you don't our response here first, sir? This is my shout, we're going in. We don't know if Hammond's armed or not. We don't know if anyone's in there. We could be sitting here for hours while he's getting clean away. No, we've wasted enough time here already. Come on. You're the boss. Right, go for it.
Right, open it. I'm flaming glad to see you. Where are they? Uh, Liam took Zoe somewhere. Uh, he's got a gun. Where the hell's Mr. Tate? I've no idea. Damn! Another wild goose chase. Oh, he just took her. Did you hear the vehicle? It sounded like a car, a lorry. I don't know. He was supposed to be in a job overnight. It might be a Tate lorry. What kind of state was he in? Pretty panicky. Brilliant. And you've no idea where he might have taken her? He didn't mention anything that might give us a clue? No. Think, Mr. Woods! Give us a break, will ya? I've just been held at gunpoint. Why the hell did you come here by yourselves? Well, I didn't think I was going to turn out like this. I was just doing Zoe a favour. <laughs> Some favour. I thought they could be a hundred miles away by now. Chris, thank God you're alive! <laughs> How did you trace me here? I'm sorry, Chris. It's not rescue. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you look terrible. What has he done to you? No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Liam's treated me really well. He's been holding you for ransom. <laughs> you haven't told her yet. I couldn't find the right moment. Zoe. Listen. Liam. He's our brother. What have they done to you? Do you mind waiting outside, Viva? I want to talk to her alone. No, of course not, love. I'll see you in a minute. You right? Yeah. I'm well pleased to see you. How'd you feel? Never better. <laughs> Why did they do it? Wrong place, right time. Where were you last night? Oh, I stayed over in Hutton. Who with? Marie, I don't think you've met her. She's a mate of Mandy's. No, it's just that doctor says Viv couldn't get hold of you, so... Oh, it was a last-minute thing. Hey, you don't feel bad. What? Well, not your like you're feeling guilty because I got beaten up and everything. Yeah. Well, don't. I feel like I've done ten rounds with Lennox Lewis. And I'll, admit, I'll be honest with you, it's... Scary as hell in here, but I'd suffer it all again ten times over if it meant protecting you. But Roy... Listen, I don't want you to feel bad about any of this. It was my choice to be in here in the first place, and I did it because I love you. Oh, Roy, I don't deserve you. Well, we're, we're meant for each other. You've no idea what horrible person I am. Don't talk soft. You're my lovely wife. You don't know how much I wanted to tell you before now. I don't believe a word of this. So I come on know so much about Frank then? How the hell should I know? Dear old Frank. You know, when I first met Chris, I couldn't stand him. But the more I got to know him, the more I realised that Frank had damaged him too. He was in the same boat as me. Another life ruined by Frank Tate. Well, we went down for that meal. You said how much you hated your dad. Our dad. No! I don't hate you. Or Chris. It's just Frank and what he did to my mum. Oh, thanks. I want you to know. I was planning to let Chris go. 
I decided a long time ago to ransom money would be revenge enough. I'm not a killer. You honestly expect me to believe that? Yeah. Now you've changed everything. I need to work out what happens next. What do you mean? Liam. Now you listen. If you were to just leave, we promise not to try and escape. For as long as you want, a day, a couple of days, you could be out of the country in hours. It won't work. So what will? I don't know. I need to think. I have to decide what to do. It's all you got. I'm not Interpol. We just keep the bare details. All right. So what about his family? I don't know anything about his family. Me neither. He didn't talk much about his background. Then what did he talk about? You know, footy. Women. So you've no idea who his friends are, where he goes, what he does? <laughs> Look, he was just a workmate. If there was anything I knew, I'd flame and tell you. As each minute ticks by, the Tate's chances of staying alive get slimmer and slimmer. This guy is armed and starting to panic. So think. We've got to get the gun off him. It's too dangerous. <clears throat> I know him. I can talk him round. Chris, he's insane. He said he wanted to be my friend. That he wanted to give you back to me as a present to make me happy. Does that sound like someone who's even vaguely right in the head? He's confused. He's panicking. I know I can calm him down. Talk some sense into him. He's trapped us down. Whatever he says. That is why we are here in this cellar. Chris, he is playing mind games with you! You don't know him like I do. You make him sad as if he deserves sympathy. Perhaps he does. It's far too risky to try and talk him round. So how's Roy? Slim pain. But his biggest worry was that I'd be upset. You're married to a saint. It was awful, Scott. All he could talk about was how much he loved me and if he had to, he'd go to prison again for me. Kelly. You have got to make a go of your marriage. It's the least Roy deserves. What about us? You owe him. I don't even know if I love him. Think of the people we'd hurt. Think of the lives we'd ruin. You've got to forget about us for now. I can't, Scott. Yeah, well, you're going to have to. Because I can't take this guilt. And it's about time you started paying Roy back for all he's done for you. I'll see you later. Scott, please. Oh, hey, come on. I'm all right. Oh, he'll be okay once his ribs heal. He'll be back out in a couple of weeks. I know. Well then, cheer up. You don't understand. I'm as much a prisoner as Roy. Whatever you're talking about. Don't matter. Is there something you want to tell me? No. I'm just talking rubbish. Everything's fine. Just fine. Sure. Mm. Good. Well then. Let's have a cup of tea, eh? Yeah. It happens. I love you. I love you. I know, we haven't always shown it. We have had some of the... the great rows in... rowing history. 
that's because you're impossible. everything through. There's only one thing I can do. I'm sorry. Liam, do you want to spend the rest of your life in prison? There's no other way. We are the only family you have. We can help you. Well. But they will catch up with you eventually. If you gave yourself up, now, we could have put in a word for you. I'll, I'll say you, you treated me really well. You might. She might. No, she hates me. The only thing Zoe wants right now is revenge. The only thing I want to get is out of here, Liam. Nothing else. A third of what we have is yours when you get out. In the meantime, we, we can send you money. We could. We could be a family name. I'm sorry, Chris, it's too late. What would your mother think? Leave her out of this. Do you think she'd have wanted her only son to end up a cold-blooded killer? God, I don't want to do it. I've got no choice. You're completely wrong about him, Chris. He's an animal, a complete psycho. Shut up, will ya? Your brother, he doesn't care if you live or die. Well, well done, Chris. Well done. You screwed up again. Shut up, Zoe. No, I won't. If we're going to die, there's a few things I want you to hear. All my life, you've betrayed me. You even tried to turn down against me. Every time I turn to you for some more, you let me down. Ever since I came out, you've done nothing but mock me and undermine me. Well, I hope you get what you deserve and rot in hell because I despise you. I just get off him! Keep out of this! Get off him! <laughs> One. Stay where you are. I'm not going anywhere. I know you won't shoot me, Zoe. You couldn't. After what you've put us through, I wouldn't think twice about pulling this trigger. No. You're my sister. Judge that one. We're back in Emmerdale tomorrow at 7. Selly Oak Hospital is where we head next this evening for trauma.